Hey everybody, I got my son Evan here. He's gonna, he loves uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, and he's never seen this by voice play. So we are going to check it out together. And this is Oogie Boogie's song. And this is acapella, of course you know what acapella is. Yeah. So, are you ready? To rumble? Yeah, are you ready to rumble? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, well, well, well. Mine, what happened? One tiny down, tiny bit. He doesn't like it super loud, guys. Let me turn it down just a little. I have sensitive here. <laughs> Are you ready or what? We'll back this up. <sighs> Well, 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 what have we here? The Santa Claus, huh? Ooh, I'm really scared. So you're the one everybody's talking about. <laughs> you're joking, you're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You're joking me, you gotta be. This can't be the right guy. What do you think? It's very cool, but... I'm also going to be telling facts about Oogie Boogie. Okay. He was actually based on Cab Calloway and the idea of gambling. Mm -hmm. Because Cab Calloway was actually a gambler. Mm -hmm. In fact, well, something funny is that there was a deleted scene in The Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's basically just Oogie doing a Cab Calloway dance. Yeah. It was just his shadow. Yeah. And it was cell anime, too. Cool. So what do you think of the acapella doing it? Because everything you hear there is their voice. It's done with their voices. There's no yeah. instruments. It's all just them. I actually watch a ton of. I actually watch a cool, a cool channel, Triforce Films. Mm -hmm. He does Cuphead things. Yeah. He does Cuphead. Pretty much a ton of theme songs. Yeah. So what do you think of this so far? Pretty cool. You like it? Yeah. All right, let's go. I don't know which is worse. I might just split a seam now if I don't die laughing first. Mr. Oogie Boogie says this trouble close at hand. You better pay attention now, because I'm the boogie man. And if you aren't shaking, there's something very wrong. Because this may be the last time you hear the boogie song. A special special. One of something that the that the background singer should have done. Mm. They should have dressed up his lock, shock, and barrel. That would have been clever. Yeah, but it's really expensive to make these things, so. Yeah, but that would have been pretty cool. Though. Yeah, absolutely. However, um, the makeup that they're using is super cool, and voice plate is a whole bunch of cool stuff like this, um, where they wear costumes and stuff. Uh, and that's Jeff Castellucci, uh, this guy, he's like a low bass singer. Yeah. He does a lot of stuff, Is too. it just me, or does he kind of look like Johnny Depp? It looks <laughs> like Johnny Depp and Oogie Boogie had an evil baby. And that's there you what go. he looks like. There you go. Patch of steak and spider skin. And don't you know the one thing that would make it work so nice? A roly poly in a car. To add a little spice. Whoa. Me now, you must face the dire consequences. The children are expecting me, so please come to your senses. You're joking, you're joking. I can't believe my ears. When someone shut his up, I'm drowning in my tears. It's funny. I'm laughing. You really are too much. And now, with your permission, I'm going to do my stuff. What are you going to do? I'm going to do the best I can. That line was actually from an. It was actually from a cartoon in the 30s mm -hmm. with with Cab Calloway, yeah. the old man of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Basically, pretty much all old 30s cartoons are nothing but just, you know, music yeah. and sound. Cool. Because this, 
because that came out like 37. Yeah. And that's basically when audio and cartoons were getting less mm-hmm. expensive. Yeah. Because it was becoming more common. So they got less expensive, become more expensive. Now CGI and all that stuff is like crazy money. Well, mainly because audio in the 30s. Mm-hmm. At the time, it was very expensive because no one really used it. Mm-hmm. Crazy thing. Max Fleischer, basically mm-hmm. he, she, he, you know, created Popeye. Mm-hmm. He actually created Rotoscope. Mm-hmm. Cool. In fact, there was actually a character, Coco the Clown. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was just somebody dressed up as a clown. Yeah. And it just looked, and they put him in front of a white sheet. Mm-hmm. That crazy thing. Mm-hmm. His brother, Dave, he actually once almost fell off the roof. Mm-hmm. Well, this stuff here, I was just, um, I mean, they just do their own stuff, you know what I mean? They're not, they don't have like, um, studios and CGI. Uh, it's all done through their editing and some of these videos, they actually, uh, voice play has a, won a video game we li- that you would like. It's just they do all the video game themes. It's super cool. Hit it! You will have to answer for this heinous act. Oh, brother, you're something. You put me in a spin. You are a Super cool, isn't it? For some reason, it just sounds like something that King Dice would sing. Like I can, I'm literally imagining him right now singing that. Yeah, it's 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 super cool though. But voice play, they do so much cool stuff. Uh, you'll have to check it out. All right, guys, for me and Evan here in Maine, have a good one. Let us know if you want Evan to do some more uh, stuff from voice play, and we'll see you soon. Bye.